Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another video on RT2. So, what are we gonna get up to in this episode? Well, you probably worked out by the uh, title of it. We need to start on the rust. So like I mentioned when I first bought the vehicle, it needs a bit of love. You can kind of see the front end's not the best. That's the least of its problems in the grand scheme of things. Um, but it needs some uh, outrigger work, uh, some inner seal work and stuff like that to make it nice and solid and good and usable. So I won't use this until I'm happy with that. If you've caught the previous episode on it, I can't use it anyway right now, so why not start on the body work? Plan is to start on this side, and by that time all the bits have arrived, then we can crack on with the engine side of it and then get it to the workshop, because I, I wanna repaint aspects of it. So I'll just quickly run around the vehicle what we're gonna do. One thing I want to point out before we get stuck into this is this is a restoration, not a restoration. I am not taking this vehicle off the road. I don't want any more cars off the road. They all need to be running and driving. It's getting a bit silly now. And for me, I just want to enjoy it. So this is gonna be a case of getting this van solid, doing everything by means to make it safe and solid and usable, um, but making a good job of it at the same time as I haven't got to come back to it when I do come to paint the van. So painting the van, you say. The plan is to get the underside of it done, the seals, the outriggers, anything it needs underneath sorted. And then we're gonna rush treat it and paint it all nice underneath so it's good usable yes it's got a few MOT repairs in the past so I'm going to tidy them up a little bit um, but we'll seam seal it we'll tidy everything up and we'll just make do with it the underside of this van I am not going for a show car you know I don't build show cars but it really doesn't warrant taking the whole vehicle off the road and I don't want to be at the point where I'm taking the interior out and stuff like that and so far I've not found anything down there that I feel like I need to take the interior out for so what we're going to get up to in this episode we're going to start on this side we're going to get the inner rail cut out and we'll get going with it like i say it's just a case of making it solid but i've got all the panels to do it as you'll find out later in the video um some bits and pieces I haven't got to make it solid like these little pieces like this i am looking for a body cut i do cover that again later in the video um but what I want to do is just get this side solid while I'm waiting for some bits and then we can go from there. So quick disclaimer, like I say, we are just getting this vehicle solid, making it safe, making a nice job of it. I'm not stripping the interior out. If I have to, like if I find a repair that needs doing on the floors or anything like that, then I'll have to. I'll have to take the interior out. So far what i found under the vehicle doesn't warrant taking it out and I don't intend to take it out. Um, we just want a useful van. So I guess that's, let's get stuck into this video. Enjoy. Why do people do this? Let's take a look at this. Dreadful. So yeah, absolutely no attempt to fix this. I knew about the inner seal part. You could kind of see that that was quite rust, rusty when I got it. I knew this vehicle was gonna have rust. I'm under no illusion. I bought it knowing it needed a bit of a restoration. All the way along the rest of it, obviously the lower part of the door skin there needs tidying up, but we're not worried about that right now. All this is to be really good to be fair. There's absolutely no filler in any of that. And then if you follow all the way along again, this is the best bit. Again, absolutely no attempt to repair it. Just absolutely caked. And I don't even want to take that out because I'm thinking that filler's holding that up. And then this is, uh, I believe they call this bit the, the dog leg or something like that. The arch, basically. They call that section the dog leg, but that's actually all quite solid. Absolutely no rot in that. Um, is where it's caught. The door's been caught or something. There's actually more rot coming off the bottom of the door than there is off there. But again, it's only the, the lower part of the skin. It's quite easy to repair that. The rest of the door's absolutely mint. Um, and we might be able to save the door, but the rust running down there is basically the rust dripping off the door. So it's only, if you polish that hard enough, it'll come out. Um, and then I cleaned up that seam, and that seam's actually really, really decent. Um, so I kind of stopped there. 
but that, that I'll make a piece. It's not too hard to make that little section there, dig all the rust out and sort it out, but it, I don't understand why people do this, especially to a seal. <laughs> like the actual, the actual inner, the inner seal, it's got a little hole just there. And literally I say little as that. Um, as you can see, you've probably seen from the video, we've got a full inner seal there and we have got the outer seal. So I don't plan on using all of that outer seal. I don't really want to start getting involved with stripping this off. I want to enjoy this van. Um, but I am going to use this end of it and put it in properly. I'm not fillering it again. It may be a light skimp maybe where the join is, but I'm not just filling that again. And then we'll do the same. We'll use the end of it down there. So let's get to it. Why do I do these things to myself? Absolutely covered. I've got a bash in my head. <laughs> also, while we've got you here, anyone got a body cut? I'd like just this area, like an L shape. Anyone breaking a van? Just have this body cut. I quite like that. Um, that's just rotted. So, and I'll have a go at making it if not, but if anyone's got a body cut, I'd be quite happy with that. So what I probably haven't shown you is the van came with quite a few bits. So obviously you got quite a cool little retro roof rack that came with it. That's that um, front end cover that was on it. But all of these are all panels. Uh, so underneath the bus, cause I'm working on it. This is the outer seal for the side without the sliding door basically. Um, and then we've got, if I open this up, we've got one of the chassis inner rails. Um, I've got the other one down by the van now. Um, even got some floor pans in there. Um, and then underneath, in this box, there's a whole load of little bits and bats, um, like uh, outriggers, repair bits, for jacking points. It doesn't actually need all of that stuff. It does need bits of the panels. Um, and then here, doggo, um, we've actually got, this is the side I expected to be the worst. In here, we've actually got the whole panel, but, it's actually only gone there. So I either might sell that panel because I don't need the whole thing and buy a repair and then someone can make more use of the big panel or I'll just cut this one up. I'm not sure yet. Let's get stuck in. I actually thought I was tackling the um, the easier side first. So uh, yeah, obviously not right now. Look at the old OG place. It's now a storage unit. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see where we're at now. Um, I, I'm not going to film too much because, as you can probably see, it is incredibly tight here. As I get the camera in without damaging it and hurting myself, it's quite difficult. But that's everything kind of clean back now. Uh, I'm just going to make a piece to go in there. I know you can buy this panel actually, but it is only a flange bit of steel, so I can make that myself. So let's get on repairing that seal. Luckily, it's not travelled too far, it is just the seal. So I'll bring you guys back in when I've got a bit more progress. So it's a bit of a vlog more than a how-to. I'm learning as I do this. Um, it really doesn't actually need the whole seal. It's actually really good. It's only where kind of the mud spat there and the mud spat there and it's kind of caught and it's right at each end of it. So we'll get it sorted. Right guys, I think I've got my head around it a little bit more now. So I'm sat right here with kind of the inner support panel. I don't really know what you would call it. That's what I'm gonna call it because it's not the inner seal. <laughs> Let me just move the tripod away. Right, so I'm sat here with uh, one of these repair panels. Um, luckily I actually don't, it doesn't need the whole thing and, it, and I'm really not gonna cut the van up for it. I think we'll call this a restoration because we're repairing anything that's 
um, bad and keeping what's good. So you'll see in a second what I've done. But so I do think I'm going to need kind of quite a bit at the end of the section here. And then at the front half up in there, which I'll tackle in a later video or off camera, I'm going to need that front section as well. So don't need to put the whole thing in. I'll just run along with it what I will. But what I will show you is what I've done here. So I'm just getting i just get that set up there for you. So you can see now what I've got left is good clean metal. So I've obviously got the seal panel, but all the way along there is really decent. All of that is like cure rust starting to go off on it and stuff now. So I'll leave all this because it's good. I've had a poke, a poke around inside there. It's nice and you can see how nice the metal's cleaned up. So I'm not going to go mental. Um, along here, it's a bit surface rusty, but you just see with the wire wheel, it's got rid of most of it. So I'm going to get a load of treatment up inside there. Once I've done a dealt with all this area, I will cut a piece out and sort that rear quarter out. Um, I'll probably end up putting a piece in because it looks like it's going to burst at the bottom. So um, you can see it's not original anyway. It's little plug welds. So oh, that's, another, that's another day. Um, let's deal with the structural bit. So what I've worked out, obviously correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, that's my inner sill. So that's my inner sill. So I'm going to make a piece to go back in there. That was completely gone. Couldn't do anything with that. Um, jacking point as a is actually really really good good and solid just got a very small hole in it there so i can weld that up and then what i'll probably do is cut a piece out and make it a back up um, and then this support panel that i'm showing you here is basically if i get if i get that up there it's this piece so that is that box section that runs along the van so that will go in there and you can see up in there it's really decent like it almost looks like new floor um because it's just not obviously that's surface rust which will clean up there's nothing wrong with that but that looks really decent in there it's just got no cavity paint or anything on it so you know what we're gonna do so obviously that's gonna get enclosed this box section piece that i've got laying next to me that will go up in there um that will then come along come along to there and then i'll put my my inner seal piece in and then repair the jacking point an out cell piece so that's what i'm going to crack on with guys like i say it's really difficult i can't get the camera anywhere near here without damaging it um so i'll do my best of it but it's really hard to get in here so not sure i'm enjoying being back on the driveway but the van can't go anywhere the way it is so um it's currently sat with axle stands and all sorts of issues going on so i might as well crack on with what i know well which is the the, the rust side of things so right i think i'll get my head around it i'm gonna go cut up some panels and then we'll get back to this so Inner support, inner seal, outer seal, all gone, but all repairable. Exactly the same story down the front, just different shape. So, get going. All right, so what I've just done is you've got the good old fur tan here in a spray bottle. One thing that is really good about this product is you can spray it. Um, not all of them you can, but obviously you can get this in such good quantities and it lasts and it leaves a good zinc protection inside there. So I've opted to use this. And then what I've done, you follow me down here, is what I've done is I've sprayed it all up the inside of there and as you can see it's dripping out of all the, the drain channels so I'm quite happy that I've got a nice coating in there obviously I'll try and spray some paint in there as well and it'll get cavity waxed but yeah like I say one looking inside there um, with a torch it's actually really decent all the way through there so just thought I'd give it a layer of protection so yeah really nice and easy with this stuff little tip there for you guys right so in there you can see that I've made up that back piece and then I make the the piece to go over the top of this, the inner sill, and then that's the inner rail. So I'll get that inner rail welded in. As you can see, it's all primed up. Um, and then we'll work from there. I hate being back on the driveway. <laughs> Listen to that. Not nice.
I've got the inner panel that I showed you a minute ago that I was kind of prepping up and it was all primed. That's now on on the inside um, and it's kind of seam welded along the back there and it comes up to kind of like here-ish. Um, so it's got rid of all the rot that's along the back chassis rail basically. That's then joined up onto the back of this uh, and then I've made this piece. So I've kind of ground back the plug weld so I've obviously attached that inner sill to that chassis rail um, but I'm not going to go mad. You going to see there? I'm just going to leave them. Um, you don't get to see them so I'm going to seam seal it all up, get this painted and, um, and then we'll sort out the, the closing piece and then we'll work on this piece. So um, I've basically got to do the same repair at the upper end. So basically all around the outriggers is where it's kind of rotted out. Um, so we're going to do both. Yeah, pretty happy at that. It's nice and, nice and solid. I feel like it's good and structural again, which is really nice. So yeah, happy with that. And there we have it. Some uh, nice etch primer on there to keep it keep the rust at bay. And then we'll put some seam sealer on there and just tidy it up so I know it's good inside. Um, like I say, and then we'll sort this piece out. Right. I think that will call it for this. Thank you for watching this episode. So, it started off feeling a bit annoying. <laughs> um, this is the first of the rust repairs. Like I say, some of you probably jump in the comments, this is not a restoration. I cannot afford to have another car sat about doing nothing. Um, and yeah, there's some little crusty bits and pieces on this van, but it is only like little bits around the van. Um, it will one day have a full resto when the time comes, but it's no point buying this and for it to sit about in the workshop it needs to just get kind of put on the road and made solid so i've gone underneath um and i've gone through what i need i'm started on this side kind of thing um so we're going to sort that that inner seal out we're going to do the same repair at the front of the seal there um tidy all that up then we're going to clean everything back we're going to rush treat all of the underside of the van we've got to do the repair on the, the other side of the van but to focus on talking on this side um get all the rust out get it all out um, there's some, been some MAT repairs in the van in the past um, and I plan to kind of tidy some of them up but I'm not going to go through everything on the van. Like I say, I've, I've, you've seen the underside of it. It's not amazing but it's not. It's also not rotten, rotten. Um, uh, basically where the outriggers are now, so you've seen where I've just done that repair, the actual bottom of the outriggers rusted out as well but we've got them in them boxes. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put that piece in as well um, because at the end of the day you need to strap the van up, it needs to be right. Uh, so we'll get that sorted but I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, a little bit different. I am really struggling on this driveway. How did I do this for so many years? Uh, <laughs> uh, so the plan is to get this side welded up, which is why I'm kind of just firing along and not filming too much. Get this side welded up, get her running and driving again, and then get her to the workshop, because then she can be up on higher stands, I can get underneath it and we can make it really nice. And I'll bring you guys in for a lot more of that ride. Um, because it's all new to me this, but metal's metal, and you just gotta work out how the panels go together. So in theory there, I've repaired the bottom of the outrigger in a chassis rail and in a seal and i've still got the outer seals put on it yet so um time will tell i'm going to do that repair at that end and then i might put the full in the outer seal one yet i'm not sure um but it does mean kind of removing all doors stripping out some of the interior this is not going to happen just yet on this van um there are some repairs that i think i might have to take the floor up or something i'm not sure we'll work it out we'll work it out but like i say this is not a restoration this is a restoration i want to get a solid she can be ratty tatty but she just needs to be safe and solid um so i'll film as much as i can guys thank you very much for watching if you haven't already subscribe to the channel consider coming a member if you really want to there's a join button there and find out more about our sponsors in the link description below we've got mini mine if you have your classic minis and frost restoration if you're here and you just want some tools and you want some good advice go check them guys out there is discount codes for both of them in there right i'm gonna go and clean up tidy my driveway up once again um, off camera I'll sort the front of it out like I say and I'll catch you in the next one thank you much for watching